actually I think Supreme is like a pretty stupid brand <laughs> or I guess they're kind of smart since they are able to get so many people or should I say sheeple to buy their stuff so Superset here, here in Kuala Lumpur. So why am I here again? Well, because I decided that I want my last few days here in Asia to just be relaxing, a vacation. So I got myself a nice hotel room here and I'm just gonna chill here. Got a nice pool, gonna chill there. And during the day, so I'm just like gonna do some shopping, just relaxing, taking it easy and enjoying myself. Let's do a quick little room tour. First, we got the beauty station where I put on all of my makeup, of course. And a nice big old bathroom. And uh, the room. The view here is pretty nice. I'm on the 17th floor. And that's about it. Now I'm gonna head on out to Chinatown and see if I can make some bargains. And uh, after that I'm gonna try to go to the Heli Lounge bar. I tried to go to last time when I was in Kuala Lumpur but didn't end up getting in there. So it's a bar that's on a helicopter pad on a rooftop. So you got the 360 panoramic view of the entire city. Should be pretty cool. It's crazy, really, how cheap everything is here. The taxi I took here from my hotel was six Malaysian ringgit, which is like two dollars, so it's like the same or cheaper than taking a bus back home. So I got a couple of things, I got this new necklace and I got a couple of shirts and a belt buckle. I managed to do a little bit of haggling but even though I have previous experience it's not that easy. Maybe especially for me as a Swedish person we are kind of like um, shy about these things, at least I know that I am. So. But I'm gonna keep looking and uh, see if I find any more interesting things. Actually, I still haven't tried durian and I just saw this durian place here, so I think I might try it. I think another reason for why I'm not that great at uh, bargaining is probably that I think everything is so cheap, like for their starting off tours to begin with, so I'm like. Could it really be this cheap? I'm done with Chinatown now and I think I'm gonna call it a day because I want to go to the heli rooftop bar but I want to go there for the sunset and now it's like half past 10 so I think I'll go there tomorrow at around like 6 or something instead so I'm just gonna head back to the hotel room and relax. So I'm back at the hotel and uh, I'm about done for the day. So I thought I'd just like share some of the stuff that I got today. Well, first of all, I got this uh, necklace and this bracelet. And let's see what else. White workout shirt. And now for something completely different. Nice black leather belt. Belt, leather belt, leather belt, 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 bel
you know that if you're buying in Chinatown, it's legit. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. I've never really heard of this brand before I've seen it before, except for in an H3H3 podcast, they were talking about it. But I kind of like the uh, minimalist uh, design with like simple shapes and just like two plain colors like that. That's kind of the look that I like anyway, so I was like, oh, why not? If nothing else, then I can wear it to be ironic. And this one I really got just for the meme of it. Like, I have never worn a bag. I guess there's a special word for these. I have no idea what, what they are even called. Like, I've seen this trend quite a lot like among hype beasts and shit like I don't I don't care about Supreme or anything I'm just wearing this for the meme like actually I think Supreme is like a pretty stupid brand or I guess they're kind of smart since they are able to get so many people or should I say sheeple to buy their stuff so how do you even put this on? oh wow Look, I'm one of those kids now. Really, I kind of got this just so I would be able to bring more stuff with me back when I go home so I can have like an extra bag of uh, like small stuff on me when I go on the flight. Really, that was the main reason. That and me being just like smoke weed every day. And also the last thing I got was this pair of sunglasses, pretty much the exact same look that I've been doing before with other glasses, but these are a bit more sturdy than the other ones. The ones I got before like broke immediately, so these seem to uh, be slightly higher quality at least. Tomorrow I'm going to Birdjai Times Square, I think. It's a really big mall with a bunch of stores and they don't have like your normal brands um, instead they have a bunch of like small more unknown brands i'm hoping that i'll find some clothes that i haven't seen before i want to get some like a bit more unique stuff if you haven't noticed it yet my style is kind of like black and white minimalist like very simple and like modern streets i don't know exactly how to explain it um, but I guess that's the best explanation I have. I like to uh, think that I, I'm sort of inspired a little bit by uh, DJs. They wear a lot of uh, clothing in the same sort of style that I like. I just wanted to say something more about bargaining. So when I said that I, I'm not the best at bargaining, um, I usually here when I was at market I could get the price down to like half of what they said initially or like maybe get it down by 40% or something like that so I think it's decent but you can probably do better than that but anyways this whole uh, like haggling prices thing is very new to me we never do any of that in Sweden or really the rest of Europe either so I haven't had like super much practice with it. So the general method I use is something like this. First when you come up to them and you're interested in something, you ask them how much and then they're gonna say something and then you say about like one quarter of the price that they told you and their reaction guaranteed is gonna be that it's way too little and like oh they have to uh, make ends meet and uh, so on but really it's not quite true I mean they're kind of bullshitting of course to uh, get as much money out of them as possible so from there you kind of just try to work yourself up a little bit gradually uh, towards a price that both of you can accept and uh, I mean you have to uh, select like in your head you have to decide like how much are you really willing to spend on this and then sort of gradually you work your way up towards that price but of course you want to get as low as possible so before you get to like your target price you want to try to get an even lower price than that 
So what you do then is you say that their offer is too expensive uh, and then you say like thank you and then you start walking away and then like most of the time they will like shout out to you like oh hey sir I can do it for this much so then they will start like and ev even as you, you keep walking further away they will shout lower and lower prices so just keep going until they shout at a price that's low enough for you or if they don't give you like a good price then chances are that you can probably get the same or a very similar thing at some other place so don't worry too much about it you'll still get a good deal somewhere else but that's all see you tomorrow